Hi everyone, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Today I am back at uh, a place that we went to film last year when it had just opened and so now it's uh, all kind of bedded in and I'd say looks a lot better than it did when I first filmed here. I am at Gwilla Moor. Uh, Gwilla Moor is a, a holiday resort and this gentleman here is staying at Gwilla Moor and we'll discuss a few things with Glenn in a second. And uh, it's called the Famous Nine. It's a nine hole par three, or I have to say, these are really, really tough par threes. Uh, and they're based on some of the iconic golf holes around the world. So the other thing about this place is a bit unusual, artificial tees, artificial greens, everything else is normal. So let me introduce Glenn. This is Glenn Richardson, I believe, uh, yeah? Yep. Uh, from Milton Keynes, land of the roundabouts and everything else. <laughs> uh, he plays on quite flat courses, no handicap. No handicap. Just a, a fun golfer. High, better, best score so far, about just broke 100? Just broke 100, yeah, so 98 possibly. Best so, ones, so we're yeah. probably as bad as each other. <laughs> and, uh, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, Glenn is staying here on holiday and he messaged me a few days ago and said, you know, Augie, would you like to come and play? Of course I want to come and play. So, Glenn will tee off. Uh, we'll have a little chat with Glenn on the way round. I might even get invited back to his place afterwards when I have a cup of tea. Okay, <laughs> so, good. very depends well, if, mate. Depends if you win. Yes, you too. And you? Take care. Okay. Okay, so whilst Glenn is warming up, warming up? Okay. Um, this is the first hole. This is 155 yards, and it's based on the 12th hole at Augusta. So, play well, Glenn. Thank you very much. That's probably pretty good, actually. Like I said, this course is not really designed to, as a normal par three. It's a very tough place. Yeah. Glenn's not using a tee. I am. It won't help me, but, you know. Really interesting springy mats. They're almost like you are kind of spring loaded on the ground. They are, they are unusual. Yeah, we're both about each other, good time. <laughs> okay, after a first duff shot, Glenn can talk as well, he's just a bit shy at the moment. Yeah, that's fine, don't you worry. Second shot, we're in. That's a good line. That's much better. Much, much better. That oh, could be on the green. Could be on the green. Water, we shall see. Definitely. 56. I'm quite short. I'm quite tightening in. Sounds good. Little pond in front of you. Bunker in front of you. Like I said, hopefully. every hole is tough on this course. I get hopefully get a little bit of lift and sit down on the uh, on the green. That could be very good. Ah, oh, a bit hard. No. Oh. Way too much. We shall see you in a minute over the <laughs> other side of the hill, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's all right. Okay, third shot in. I thought it was a good shot, but I'm in the bunker. Uh, as I've just told Glenn on his last shot, none of these holes are easy. No. I think because they're kind of based on iconic holes, even though they might not have the length, they have all the intricacies and the difficulties around the greens. We found that out quite quickly. We found that out quite quickly. <laughs> A little bit more. Just so worried about going too far and end up Yeah, in I agree. Yeah. And a little bit more. We'll get it on the green. That'll do. That's, that's good enough. Eventually. Good enough. Now, after my complete disaster in the bunker, three out of the bunker, um, Glenn, we have found his ball. Glenn is over the hill but not too far away. It's going to have to be a very, very good shot. Um, 
little chip again, going with the 56 again. I'd hopefully go up and under and then onto the green. That's the aim anyway. Just on the edge, but that's okay, because I said bunker at the front as well, so again, another miss hit shot would have been bad. So Glenn's third shot, wind is starting to pick up, drizzle's starting to come in. Oh, hit the flag. I nearly got out of the way quick then, but that's okay. Well done. We're just on the edge of the green. We're going to put this in. Yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? Would be nice from distance. Okay. That's a very good shot. Oh, that's an amazing that's putt. And a half. That's excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah. Four, four or five. Four. <laughs> I can't remember you now. <laughs> uh, uh, one to there. Two to there. Two to there. Three to there. Three to there. That was your fourth then. Yeah. So this is your fifth. Sure. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Um, we're having a uh, complete crazy mind <laughs> boggling stuff just we can't add up to five. <laughs> right. Hopefully a short putt. I'm trying to tense after Oggy's good putt. My miraculous saving putt. Oh. Uh, you know, in your defence, you've not really played on an artificial green before, no, and they're actually very, qu very pretty fast. quick, aren't they? It's very, very quick. They're very true, but they're very fast. Take your time. Not enough. <laughs> okay, well that's not a hole we're going to remember too long. No, definitely um, not. We'll try and forget it. <laughs> um, but on to hole two. Yes. Okay, I've taken the hat off. Uh, it's starting to drizzle. I will keep the glasses on, um, not because it's sunny, but to keep my hair in place. <laughs> any, any, any help from me would be good. Uh, we have got a little bit of water on this hole, haven't we? Uh, I believe we have. This is the second at Gwillamore, which should be the 18th hole at Carnoustie. Uh, this is the one where uh, Jean van der Velle had a complete meltdown, and I'll probably have one too. <laughs> Pick uh, both of us, Will. If I remember when I played this last time, there was a wall, I think there's water on the other side of that. But there's bunkers on right and left. Trouble everywhere, like every hole in this place, trouble everywhere. <laughs> uh, I'm going with an eight iron. That's gone slightly right yeah, towards the bunkers, but you've avoided the water and you're well, just in the bunker. bunker. Oh well, such is life. So Glenn's just realising that these uh, artificial tees are really quite strange. They really do kind of swallow the tee up and hold the ball. I, um, I honestly don't know who won that hole. Probably me. Yeah, I'm going to say you. <laughs> uh, but we kind of lost count. So, you know, we don't really care. We're not just playing for fun. Enjoying it. Uh, we try to make a bit of a competition out of it just to keep you all occupied. That's it. Just watch the, just watch the bad shots and enjoy the good ones. And that's safe. That's safe. That's okay. Now, after the last time was a disaster, <laughs> and I'm right on the lip of this one, God knows. But I think you'll be able to get out of it. Okay, so I'm in the bunker. Gary is about the same distance away, but the other side, just on the edge of the rough stuff, but he'll be fine. I hope so. <laughs> Where I'm probably going now. Come and join me. I'll come and join you down there. Come and join me. <laughs> Second shot. I'm uh, just outside the bunker. And hopefully chip onto the green. Very good. I'll take that. That's lovely. Lovely. Very good shot. Thank you very much. Now, unfortunately, uh, I hit that bunker shot far too clean and I'm kind of almost where Gary is. So I won't be doing as good a shot as that, but we shall see. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, stay on, stay on. Just on the edge of the green. So Gary, or his real name, Glenn, <laughs> uh, decided to tell me that his name was Glenn, even though I knew that at the first tee, but forgot it by the second. Uh, I think he was going to just leave it and let me see how long it was going to take before I decided Sorry, the real name was Glenn, but we will remember. Sorry, Glenn, do apologise. It's on his third shot. Oh, like I said, super fast greens, aren't they? They are. Go on, finish off while I'm still here with the camera. Take your time. See, it's a bit strange playing on this kind of carpet. Maybe they're fast one way and not so fast yeah. the other. Yeah, definitely. On the hills especially. That'll do. Awesome. That, was a, that was very quick. Whether I hit it too hard or... Yeah, not sure. I mean, just discussing with Glenn, uh, that there may be a kind of a nap to these kind of carpety type greens. And uh, obviously that means it's going to be quite quick one way and maybe not so quick the other. We'll find out more as we, we play. Definitely. If I'm on the very edge. Hopefully get better as we play. Yeah, hopefully get better. <laughs> well, no, if we don't get better, that's good, because we have more practice on the green to tell <laughs> that's people That's true, getting anything. our money's worth. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it still goes a long way, doesn't it? It does. And you was online as well. What I quite like about these, you probably don't have to take the flags out because that's they true. don't damage the holes, really. So. Yeah. Ah, oh. could call that a gimme. Yeah, we'll call that a gimme. <laughs> so Glenn's warming into this now, and uh, we're a one-all. That's if we were kind of competing, but yeah. let's be honest, we'd be beaten all by anybody today. What we're actually doing is being beaten by the course, which I kind of expected to happen. Uh, this is the third hole, uh, 131 yards. Yeah. And it's the 17th hole. This is supposed to be the road hole at St Andrews, I believe. Yes. And it's got a great big bunker in the front, as you would expect, the road hole bunker. <laughs> Guaranteed. So, uh, I suggest ball. you stay right. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> the, ball must, uh, the ball seems to seep sand at the moment. Oh. Or very left. Oh, big left. It's coming down, it might come off. I'll be all right up there. Hope so. That's actually away from the thick stuff and then just normal sort of stuff. Hope okay. So. Right, I'm going six iron. I'm not actually sure what you used. What did you use in the end? Uh, I used a seven. I thought you were going to say I used a club. That Oh, just yeah, to the top of it. One of them kind of dribbling ones, it'll keep going, I think. It will. That's okay. Okay, I come up short, obviously. So then <laughs> he's a bit further up, but up in the kind of rough stuff. He's got the bunker definitely contend with. Definitely. I hopefully haven't got to contend with it, but we never know. That's a good shot. That's in the right line. Ah, oh, is it? Might have just, on? is it on? Stay, stay. Oh, I might have just dropped off at the last moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the thick stuff. Glenn, hang on, motorbike going by. We're, uh, we're on the side of a main road here. I see. Uh, Glenn is in some quite heavy stuff. He has the uh, famous nines version of the road hole bunker in front of him, so hopefully he's going to play safe and go left. I hope so, that's the aim anyway. That's the, that's the aim of the shot. Oh, or no. very safe right. That's all right. <laughs> What's wrong with that? That'll, that's that's that not much worse than you're going to be when you're on the green. That's very good. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> right, before we take our next shot, uh, Glenn is just over there on the right. I am on the green. Uh, we thought we'd have a bit of fun. Um, let's be honest, you've seen how bad I've tried to get out of bunkers today. So Glenn and I are going to try and get out of the road hole bunker. In less than 10 shots. In less than 10 shots. This will be a laugh. Okay. <laughs> 
Take all that, Glenn. I'll find a club. Surprising the size of it. Once, once you, you go in it. Yeah, you don't realise until you get close, and then you go. Hmm. Yep. It's probably uh, about five, five foot, five and a half foot. It is. I've been a bit crafty. I have like pushing it a bit at the back. I'm not on the lip, but <laughs> either way, you're in it. Either way, I'm in it. Yeah. Oh no! One. One. <laughs> Two. Now we're getting more fun. That's it. It's just scary. I'll it? get you it's a just... bucket and spade soon. Oh no! Pull it out. Hang go on, again. Hang on. Right. It's gonna go over your head now. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take the camera with me. That's probably the best shot I have. That's it. So I'm glad I didn't get in there. It's very tough. Oh, what a nightmare. We might put that, we might not, yeah. <laughs> we'll see how we go. I want you to get out of one. You want me to? Just to show me up. Right. So uh, I gave up after four. I'm actually quite <laughs> pleased I never got in it. Um, my pro, Matt, has often told me that the thing about bunkers, the most important thing to learn about bunkers is not to get in them. <laughs> and he's absolutely right. That's a very good tip. Right. You can do this. Come on, Glenn, you can do this. I'll get you some crowd cheering and everything in the background for you. Excellent. Ah. More speed, more speed. What do I know? Oh, well done. Look at that, that's a great shot. Take that any day of the week, mate. Glenn wins the bunch, the challenge. <laughs> Thanks very much. So this is Glenn's third shot, he's going to just chip this up, I may have putted it. Hopefully not too much pace. It's okay. It's on the green. On the green, that's all you can ask for. This is your third shot. Third, yeah. This is for we're par putt. Now. We're not counting the bunker, that's just me. Nah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Don't step back. No, all right. Don't step back much more. Big bunker. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a really good thing for the bloopers, Phil, that I want to do at Christmas. And you'll just go backwards and the camera will go up in the air. £200 for you being framed. Too fast. Oh, right. Just oh, on the edge. See these at all. So, I'm still on the green, but only just. I nearly putted into the bunker then. <laughs> we really got to start slowing down on our putts. Definitely. Now I'm there. Plan to take this one quite slow. Nice and steady. Look at that. Pure, oh. pure it was. Well done. I'll never do that again. Well, but you did it today and on camera. <laughs> That's a four. That is, yes. Cracking. Well done. Fantastic, thank you. So I need to put this in for a draw. Well, your putting on the second was very good. Yeah, but this is now the third. <laughs> or the fourth, third. Oh. Right. Okay. So, Glenn goes two, one, up. Okay, so Glenn is two, one, up. This is the fourth hole at Gwillamore. This is uh, their interpretation of Pebble Beach. Unfortunately, we don't have cliffs on the other side of the green uh, and crashing waves, we have houses, but it's 177 yards. It's a long way out. Long way out um, and a lot of danger. Okay, I'm gonna go over seven, seven on on this one. Hopefully a little bit of bounce to kind of help me on the way. Try and keep something straight for once. Well, the, the wind is kind of pick up a bit. It's very gray clouds out here, a bit of drizzle coming in. That's it. All good conditions for playing golf. <laughs> okay, see so how we go. That's lovely, lovely shot. Dead straight. For once. It keeps going. It keeps oh, going. We're finding the fairways a little bit kind of heavy, aren't they? For normal fairways, definitely, what you'd consider yeah, to be a fairway on needs, a course. It, needs a, it hasn't really got that first cut. No, it kind of holds the, holds the grass, doesn't stopping. it? stopping, yeah, definitely. Go for it. Okay, in my defence here, it is now sweeping in and not it very is. pleasant. So, this is more like 
St Andrews, I guess now, and not um, it Northeast. is not California. And go with a five. Good shot, straight down the middle. Yeah, well done. I think that it's that tufty grass again, not quite getting onto the green, but pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're now on our second shot. We are basically next to each other. We are. We are being super friendly. Super social. Yeah, a minute ago I was actually going to take my jumper off and so was Glenn. We're not that friendly, but uh, we were. And now suddenly the drizzle and the rain has come in and it's sweeping across this course. And it makes it more interesting. It makes it more interesting. We will film what we can. Ah, that's why, isn't it? In there. Smug chip. Hopefully gone onto the green. And it does. That'll do nicely. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully I can try and do the same. I hope so. Hopefully. Uh, and what a horrible little kick that was. But they're both on the green and that's okay. That's it, that's the main thing. So this is Glenn's third shot. We are getting very windswept and very wet. it's that kind of very fine stuff that just soaks you straight through to your bones very quickly. Yeah. So Glenn's so going to gonna play. Try is quick. I'm a bit further away but on the green as well. Oh. It's okay. Away? Yeah, finish off. Right, take it away. Yeah, I'd say take it away, but he didn't need to. He was just going to play it well anyway. <laughs> so, the towel's for the camera, not for me. <laughs> we might need it though. Well, we try and run in for cover. <laughs> then it's three one up. Thank you. Okay, I'm try currently trying to keep the uh, camera as dry as possible. This is the fifth hole at Gwilym Moor, which is their representation of the 16th hole at Augusta. Uh, it's 170 yards, and there's an awful lot of water in front. So, right, unless you reckon you can clear the whole lot. I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to go. I need to go right. Right, it's fine, I think that's going to be okay. There's a lot of green on that side, so I think most people will come in that way. Okay. Uh, I'm going with a hybrid. There is a serious amount of water, and the wind is seriously blowing in it our is. faces, really, at the moment. I think Glenn made the best job of going right. I yeah. hopefully we'll go the same way. That's the aim. Or not. Or not. Is it in? No, oh, that's water grass. because of a lovely tufty yeah. fairway. <laughs> I He's did say to Glenn that we'd probably, I'd probably be in the water on this one. I nearly was. Nearly. Yeah, serious amount of water. I'm going to feed the fish. Actually, they got, look for the fish. They've got a lovely fishing pond here. I have. People come and do fishing here as well as play golf. I can do it at the same time. <laughs> Six iron for me and a hope. You've missed the water. Well done. That's coming round, is it? No, it's going to stay there. It's tufty grass. It won't come down off anything. It won't. Interesting, isn't it? It is. So my my second shot has ended up somewhere up near where, uh, if you look at above Glen's shoulder, there's a, a seat. Somewhere up near there on the slope. Glenn is in the slight rough. Slight. Okay, Glenn is in the rough. Oh, 
He was put off, I have to say then. Oh no! Oh. He wasn't put off by me, he was put off by the uh, his bag crashing to the ground. <laughs> uh, and then he decided to just swipe it out and he's gone and fed the fish. So we'll go up closer to the green and uh, we'll let him take a drop. But famous last words, Glenn is not actually in the fish, in with the fish, but there's no way he's going to go and stand in the pond and try and play that. Right from there. Okay. That'd be a nice chip shot onto the green. Very lucky there, and after, I think again this kind of quite tufty grass around the fairways just kind of kept him safe there. At least kept him, kept him a ball for another another hole anyway. Yeah, exactly there. See how many go. Could be very good. Bit of a slope going down there, but if it stays on the green, it stays on the green. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. So we'll be on his fourth shot, just on top of the hill, looking to pitch it onto the green. It's a very, very good shot. That's an excellent shot, by the way. Oh, so close to the pin. I think that'll do very nicely. Well done. I think I might even give a gimme. I think that's a gimme. If, I, if I'm being very generous, <laughs> which I am. Take it away. Be generous, that's a gimme. That's like that. <laughs> well done. Very good shot. More luck than judgment, I have to say. Very good shot. Okay, I always look so big in these pictures is because I'm close and he's far away. I keep telling this to Smithy as well. Uh, okay, we are actually, um, we've walked off the course. The, yeah. the weather set in quite heavily. And uh, so we've done five holes. So this is the end of video one. We'll just call it part one. Hopefully we're going to do uh, part two later on in the week. Uh, with Glenn's uh, permission from his lovely wife over there is making me a cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> I'll pop back sometime on one of the evenings, we'll just finish off. Currently, Glenn is winning 3-2, but I'm back on form. So, we shall see how it goes. Yeah, the weather completely beat us. Uh, it's just typical weather in this sort of area. I think last time I played here in October last year, this all kind of swept in. And when you live in Cornwall, all you want to do is look over across the distance and you know, you know when it's going to be sweeping in and when it's just going to stay for the rest of the day. Uh, cameras are soaked, we're soaked. Definitely. Everything We're going to need some new, new clothes. Yeah, so I'm going to have a cup of tea here. Uh, I'm in one of the little uh, holiday uh, chalets, we call them. Lodges. Uh, yeah. Lodges. Uh, really lovely. They're right next to the fishing lake and they're just behind the green we've just finished off of, actually. So we just come through the back gate. So, uh, perfect place if you want to come and uh, have some accommodation here and stay. Tr uh, there's another course just down the road, which is suddenly gone out of my head, Tahiti. Tahiti Golf Course is a parkland course uh, about a mile away from here. Obviously you've got West Cornwall and uh, all the other kind of courses that I play in the local area as well. Uh, lovely accommodation, really good place to come and stay. Uh, take a look at their website, you'll see the link below afterwards. But thank you very much to no, Glenn. Thank you very much and I look forward to the second part. Yeah and in the second part we'll find out all about you because you're That's a PE teacher. I am. Might, you might even give me some exercises, that'd be a laugh. <laughs> Okay, so see you all later. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.